The passport was issued in March 1966, and at the time I came, it was before Barbadian independence. So my national status says here very clearly, British subject, citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies. So, um, so I feel that if one wants to talk about that Windrush generation, then I myself, even though very young, was very much a part of folk that migrated here, either as adults or as children. Having left Barbados, which was beautiful and sunny, um, and arriving in a cold, damp place, I think my first images of Coventry were dim, dark, row houses, and they had this overwhelming smell of cabbage. I was the only black girl at school, which came with all its own challenges, um, including racism. There were few expectations that the Windrush Generation children were going to be successful. And like all working class children, we were all kind of stereotyped into the potentiality for us, which was often lower income um, work. We've grown used to seeing people of colour in different um, capacities now. But certainly back in the 80s, when people of colour really held only particular types of jobs, when you went out, you literally had to wear a raincoat of another identity and you had to be this other person because you knew you needed it as a protection against what was going to come at you, whether people looked at you in a particular way, whether they said particular things to you. Whatever it was, you had to arm yourself and be prepared for what could potentially be someone rejecting you. I'm a single mum because I chose to be a single mum. So when I was 13, as part of my growth and understanding of the social injustices of the world, one of the things I discovered was that there were lots of children who lived in foster homes and in children's homes, Bernardo's children's homes. And even at the time I thought I was poor and I thought I was disadvantaged, but I remember looking at these um, images of these children and saying, Do you know, if I ever get myself into a position where I can, I'm going to adopt a child because I just feel that if you've got the capacity to give and, and there are children who are in need, then I'm going to do that. In serving God, my heart for, and my passion for social justice remains undimmed. The, the person I am and the things that I do are all encapsulated in wanting to be part of a community that brings about change to enable people to live the life the best way possible. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.